Godwin Jaja. You just watched highlights of the Australian Open, and we have a new kid on the block. Uh, we'll tell you more about that, lady. Uh, Many today, we'll take a look at the Australian Open. We'll also take a look at the NMA Games, the Nigerian Medical Association Games. Kicks off in Port Harcourt next month. We have the team of experts from the NMA uh, to give us this and plenty more. And, of course, we'll take a look at the English Premier League and lots of other action. I'll start with my guest. Um, I'll start my immediate um, left, Dr. Obelebra Adebi. She's our top class today. And, of course, uh, Dr. Abiyah Tamuno Pubo, LOC Chairman of the NMA, and um, Dr. Samson Ezegu, um, the LOC Secretary. We have all doctors here with me in the studios of the River State Television. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. By the way, it's live and interactive. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, our number is 0810306263. If you're on GoT or for, if you're on GoTV channel 103, you can tune in and call us and join the conversation. Guys, um, let's start with you. Um, Madam, tell us about the NMA Games. It kicks up next month, is it? Yeah, thank you. Good day, viewers. The NMA Games is the game of the Nigeria Medical Association. Mm organized by doctors, for doctors. Mm. Doctors walk the talk. Mm. We tell people to exercise, we tell people to always, you know, mm. not live a sedentary lifestyle. Mm. So, once in every two years, mm. doctors gather together mm. to compete. Mm. Actually, not real, it's competition, yes, mm. but it's for brotherliness, mm. it's for togetherness, mm. it's to bring us together mm. outside the consulting room. Mm. And also to have fun outside the consulting room. Mm. Doctors are not just about injections and you know surgeries we also go out there and have fun and that's why these games are organized uh let's start uh, with dr abia tamuno opubo loc chairman uh, doc how prepared are you guys for next month i'll come to madame later how prepared you're the sec tell us okay basically we are prepared you know um the choice of river state for the games was happily done and uh, even at the point where we were given that hosting right, other persons competed, other states wanted it, but the National Executive, the National Officers Committee and National Executive Council deemed it necessary to say, wow, Port Harcourt has the capacity. Mm. And we know we have a sports-loving governor in this state, uh, the pillar of sports in Africa, mm. Barista is a one year some weekend. And um, to be candid with you, we have maximum support from him, and because this game is in Port Harcourt, we know it will be the best. So in terms of preparedness, we are prepared. We are on it. We are working very hard. And what we our plan is, or what we are looking out to is to ensure Rivers 2020 will be the best. And we'll set a mark for other states to work very hard to actually, right. you know. Uh, just a point of correction, Dr. Abiyah Tamuno Pubo is the LOC chairman, and we have the secretary, Samson Ezugo, a good friend of mine in Uniport those days. Uh, Sam, tell us, um, uh, tell us how, what, what do you expect for, from the games? Well, uh, the NMA National Games, uh, the, this is the fifth edition of the games. The first one was in Eket, Aquaibom State. That was seven, eight years ago. And the Portacot is hosting the, the next edition, which is the fifth edition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really a very competitive tournament because, you know, apart from the medical practice, most of our doctors are talented in different sporting activities. Some of us, when you see us on the track, you know how we used to do it in Uniport. Mm -hmm. When you see us on the track, you will not believe it's the same pot belly doctor that you, you, you drink beer with. You know, there are some that play football, and some do all sorts of games, so it's going to be interesting, you know. And it's also good you see the doctors that are always looking, you know, very serious mm. in the theater. Mm. You see them falling on the football pitch and laughing, and it's very interesting. It's going to be full of fun. All right, um, just a promise. We're, we're going to make sure we give you very good publicity for your games. Madam, um, Let's talk about the games properly because, um, you know, the governor, I mean, I saw your courtesy call with the governor, and um, is this about government? Are we going to have see private, I mean, this is an opportunity, can, can we get to see the private guys partner with the enemy for these games? Yes, of course they do. I want to say that um, the games, like I told you, is an opportunity for us to interact. And usually we even go to, we, 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 we invite other health 
workers to mm. join us in the games. Mm. You will see when we do the opening ceremony, we are going to have matches with other health workers. Mm. And the games, anybody can partner with us. We mm. can tell you that we've reached out, especially to pharmaceutical companies. Mm. And if you want to, you can advertise on the on the games. We have people who are going to advertise their drugs. We have people who are going to advertise their products during the games. In fact, the stadium is going to be branded by people who are, go who are going to support us. Mm. So the games is open for anybody who wants to support, to actually support us. And like the LOC um, uh, chairman okay. rightly said, mm. we thank our governor, His Excellency, Barrister is the one, yes, on Wiki, who loves sports so much and I want to say that he also loves doctors. Mm. He loves the health sector and he loves what we are doing. That beyond just treating patients, we are also encouraging the public to take up exercises, to, to live healthy. So that's why the doctors are doing this. And the, the, the governor, like we know, is the pillar of sports in Africa. And he has come out to really support the NMA games. He received us, like you rightly said, you were there. You saw him, he received mm -hmm. us. And he has told our national body that is behind us in these games. Mm. So, but for the private individuals, they are all welcome. We mm. have a few who are supporting us, but I'm saying that many more are welcome. There mm. is room for all. So, um, LSU Chairman, uh, where are the venues? What venues are we going to see? Our viewers are watching us. Some of them might want to come and, you know, watch. It's in Uniport, but tell us exactly in Uniport, and then when are we starting? It's next month, is it? Yes, actually the game starts on the, from the 17th to the 23rd of February. Mm -hmm. And for the opening ceremony, the opening ceremony will be at uh, Yakubu Bobon Stadium, Elekaya Stadium. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. That's where the opening ceremony will be. But the rest of the games will be in the Uniport uh, Stadium. Mm -hmm. Uniport Stadium. So mm -hmm. the opening ceremony will showcase, like the enemy chairman has said, showcase, that's what we do. In the last edition in Abiyo Puta, we had match with pharmacists, mm. doctors. Again. By the way, who won the last one? We won. Or oh, we must say one. No, no this, this, so it's actually, uh, uh. what actually, competition actually starts with, you know, competition within the states. Mm. So the states compete in their zones. Yeah. Then they have a zonal team, mm -hmm. six geopolitical zones. Mm. In NMA, Lagos is also a zone. Mm. River State is hosting. So we also constitute a zone. So okay. it's eight zones that will be competing All right. and so each of the zones the states and the zones select a zonal team mm. that's what there are the people that will come and compete for the national games mm. Mm. and so the last uh, the south south zone where we belong and yep, the rivers yep, belong yep, yep, yep. consistently for the past four editions has won mm. and we but this time around river state is out of the south south games where is zone mm. so we are not just playing we are competing to win Fantastic. Yeah, so we must say to win. So, like I said, the very opening ceremony is for Chaps. I mean, um, um, Yaku Goba Stadium, or the Kaya Stadium. Mm. And then the rest of the games after the opening ceremony will be there. Like I said, it's going to feature a match between the nurses, a nurse, nurses FC, mm. and NMA FC. Mm. And so it's going to be a very good one. So, what, what games are we looking at for? You talked about football. Um, are we looking at chairs, swimming? You know, just all give us an idea. All the indoor games. All the indoor games will be. Team sports. Yes. Yeah, well, well, we we have a, a following games that will be competed. Well, we have a football, mm. male football. The five side football or oh, full? Full, full team. team. Full mm. team. Right. The only difference is that uh, we are going to have six substitutions as against the normal three substitutions just to make room for the doctors who are not so fit, mm. you know, to play a little. So there is going to be for five minutes each half football team, male and female football, then other um, group, again, other team events like volleyball, basketball will be male, female. Then you have track events, 100 meters, and then 4 by 100 meters. Then you also have badminton, table tennis, the long tennis, and then the basketball. Scrabble. 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 Scrab
the NMA thinks that it's something we should pursue. We should not throw it away. Mm. And again, we are trying to introduce golf in this, oh, uh, in yes. this oh. particular like this. So there's a possibility we can actually get a golf? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Golf yes. 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 We are going yes. to have a golf. That's the addition to it. That's mm. the addition. Even the track events. It's 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 Let me ask you, Doc, um, how regular should we get exercise for, you know, for our viewers who are listening to you guys, your experts, how regular should we do exercise? Exercise should be a lifestyle. In, in fact, in terms of preventive medicine, basically, exercise is core. So many of these toxins we eat, we drink, we get from the environment, and then so many of the sedentary lifestyles we live on and all that. Mm. Basically, what sustains you, makes your organs function maximally, mm. is the dynamism of circulation, blood flow. Mm. Mm. So, all right, let me ask you, Doc. Uh, we just saw Serena playing. At 34, she's a mom. What's, what's been keeping Serena? She, she lost her, but what's been keeping her active? Like you said, she's living an active lifestyle. Mm. And to be frank, if you live actively, you will discover that you'll be, you, 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 you'll be healthier. Mm. Now, I want us to, just in our local environment, mm. cast your mind back. The days when our parents were farming, there was no cars to drive around, and there were a lot of long walks going on. Mm. People were living up to 90, mm. 100 years, mm. and held their lives too. Mm. I know that now, I can't say it's only the sedentary lifestyle, it's a combination of so many things. The environment is constituting, you know, constituting a lot of ill health. The cancers we are having, the respiratory diseases, is a combination of environment, but the sedentary lifestyle we are living now, it's really a big challenge. How about yeah. what we eat also? What we eat too. A lot of things are contaminated. Mm. But again, we are not active. The average worker sits in front of the computer. Mm. You've seen a lot of things. That's why actually the NMA is trying to get her members to be active. Mm. You know, but you know your body. Mm. Like he said, this is a competitive game. We've been, we've been practicing. We've been you know, being in the, the athletes are in camp, there are actually some doctors who are athletes. Mm. But for the ordinary man, you can do a little bit of exercising every, you know, now and Can we say one hour a week or two uh, hours? One hour a week, well, one hour a week. Is it too much two, or too small? No, like too small. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but if you do it like two, one hour, twice, thrice in the week, mm. that would be fine. Mm. You know, it's good to be active. And like the chairman said, when you are active, the circulation is better, mm. and all your organs get the blood flow to the organs is better, mm. and so they can function. Uh, we'll we'll take two questions. I'll take one from you, and I'll take one from you. Now, you, you have the opening ceremony um, in University of Port Harcourt. No, uh, yeah. Sorry, Yakubu Gowon Stadium, yeah. and then have the, the, the other games in Uniport. Yeah. The distance, have you considered the distance in terms of you know logistics logistics right. yes you know moving from all right now, basically well the opening ceremony is one day okay okay it's okay. one day. okay okay after the opening ceremony at Yakubu uh, one stadium we are moving fully to be at well, so the game is not shuffling okay okay, okay i was thinking i was thinking that only opening ceremony mm. we have mm. at the Yakubu government stadium mm. to give rivers people <coughs> enough space to come and you know celebrate it with us mm. and that opening ceremony but the rest of the games are there. They, it's it's uh, it's closer there. Even the logistics for accommodation for all that eh, was put into consideration before we choose. Okay, I'll ask you, Madam, before we I'll come to you again, um, Doctor and uh, um, Doctor Obelabra, how many states are we expecting? Like we said, we have eight zones. Mm. So depend on the number of uh, games the zones want to participating. Mm. So we are expecting the entire eight zones because River State is standing mm. as a zone. Mm. But we have the state geopolitical zones and then Lagos as a zone. You know Lagos is big. They mm. have more, many doctors mm. there. So they are standing in enemy as a zone. But because we are hosting the games, we've been given the opportunity to stand as a zone and compete for every for medals in all the events. Mm. So we are expecting eight zones. Um, sec, um, football is your event. Um, in terms of referees and officials, have you guys gotten in touch with them? Because you, you work with a lot of these associations, football, NFA, um, you know, River State FA and all this. Yeah, 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 yes, actually we, we've communicated the River State FA because the game will be officiated by 
the referees from from yeah. yeah apart from football yeah. all other tournaments all other games we use the state officials good, good so we are we are working with the river state ministry of health or ministry of health and ministry of sports mm. so the state officials will be involved in officiating all the games mm. and then the state's referees are also going to send the officials that will officiate all the games all right, you're welcome back to the studio of River State Television. That was Serena Williams in a press conference. She was knocked out of the Australian Open yesterday. She still thinks she can win that elusive 24th Grand Slam and equal Margaret Court's all-time record. Guys, still in the studio. Let me start with you. Um, Dr. Samson, Serena, can she do this? Can she make 24? Well, uh, Serena is a cat with uh, nine lives, a... Uh, when you think that she's exhausted, she'll just bounce back, suddenly bounce back. I thought Serena would have bowed out many years ago. I'm surprised that she, up to now, she's still coming actively in the, the Grand Slam. So I think Serena can stay win one or two Grand Slams, I think so. Okay, next, let me go back uh, to uh, Dr. Abir. Um, Doc, do, you, you know that in this our games, in this your game, sorry, for example, we have our own Swan games, Sport Writers games. And uh, I'm sorry to say that sometimes we have this machine that is coming, guys who are not doctors, who are not sports writers coming. Are we going to, look, this is going to happen. This is, uh, machineries, machineries. Let me put it up, because it's in your court, LOC. How do we shift machineries out? Make sure that we have doctors for doctors. Okay, basically, one thing that's unique about doctors is integrity. Mm. And like the LOC secretary said earlier, we have a lot of sports people, but the fact that we are doctors doesn't exclude us from. I remember when we were talking to one of our doctors that is a golfer. But by the time he listed doctors that are golfers, we are amazed. Mm. So even have more than a team. So doctors are, you know, in each of these areas of context, mm. they have we have a north manpower. We are sports people. Leave the our practice mm -hmm. and all that. So there will be no room for for mercenaries. Mm. We are people with integrity. Okay, um, um, let's um, look at um, our president here. Doc, what, what kind of guests are we looking out for? Your big guests. I know you don't want to give us all the names, but one or two of people that we might be seeing at the NMA Games. Yeah, at the NMA Games, we are going to have very, most of the doctors, our national president mm. and past national presidents will be here. And in the sporting world, we are hoping to have the NMA Games. President, President. Mm. 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 he was actually at the last games in mm. Abekuta, mm. so I believe that he will again come for this one. Mm. The Kotako is the city to be in. Mm. See our cap, mm. 2020. Governor Kuma is a medical doctor, yes. Um, I would like to see the, the him here because you know, it's one governor I don't even I didn't know, I, I didn't know he was a medical doctor until somebody told me about his. He is a medical doctor, and I'm sure if he has the time, mm. because Dr. Kowa has been very support. Of course, he's a doctor, so mm. he has no choice but to support the doctors. Mm. I believe if he has the time, mm. we definitely want to come and be with us. All right, guys, it's time to uh, make your calls. Of course, you know that our own governor, the POS Africa, mm. that's the power of Sports Africa, mm. is going to be there live and sure, the chief host. At, at the opening ceremony. Mm. And I believe he will take the kickoff for the Football. For the football. All right, uh, 0810 uh, That's our number. You can speak to any of them um, to have them any question. Um, doctors, um, are you guys aware of what's happening in China? The coronavirus, it's spreading. We are very aware. How do we. It's not, it's not come to Africa here, but. <laughs> you know, when you, you, you put on your TV, you, 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 you're just getting up for the six days. The issue around it is. It's more like a double geopathy for us here. Mm. Because right now we are faced with last of yes. challenges. Now. Yes, yes. There is increasing mortality. Most states are affected. Yeah. For River State, we are, they, they've set up an emergency operation center, EOCs, mm. and all that. Preparedness, there is a high level of preparedness to curb anything that will come into the state and all that. The State Ministry of Health is on top of it, Department of Public Health, and then our partners from University of Potapa Teaching Hospital and River State University mm. Teaching Hospital. They are on top of it. So we are believing that whatever it is, you know how we were able to contain Ebola? It, it was scary. Yes. It was scary. You know, even here in River State, we were able to suppress Ebola and mm. all that. So that level of that is still, we have a, a very, <coughs> a government that is very sensitive towards 
the health needs of the people. Mm. Everybody is at last mm. about that. We know that it won't even come here, but in paraventure, we'll contain it. How, do, how, do, how does one contact <laughs> glass of fever? Uh, um, okay. Okay, like, okay, I think uh, Dr. Samson. Uh, Lassa, Lassa fever is uh, <laughs> one of the uh, viral hemorrhagic fevers. Virus caused by a virus causes hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. So that's how you get the viral hemorrhagic fever. So Lassa fever mostly is spread by the, this uh, 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 species of rats, you know. Not all rats. No, no, not all rats. Not all rats. Not all Not all rats. Is it yes. the big rats? No, no. no. This, uh, this one has a long, long tail. Little tail with uh, sharp, sharp on the mouth. Ah. Yes, it, it stays mostly in the bush. And when you have a, uh, 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 um, when you have a bush fire, some of them are uh, forced into our homes. Oh. And then, you know, they, they, they can... So do they have to bite a person? No, no, no they are fully They are weeds. They are, they are, they are, they are, so you eat, when you eat the... Excretions, mm. excretions, saliva, excretions, mm. urine, mm. from mm. those rats, mm. on our food substances can. Mm. And then if you consume the rats, you know, mm. if you, if mm. you prepare the... Hello, good afternoon, can you hear us? All right. What's your name, sir? My name is Chief. for Lassa fever um, in Nigeria. Yeah, it has seasonal variation. Mm. You know, this is the period people are preparing farms. Okay. And bush burning mm -hmm. and all that. So the rats leave the original spot of dom domiciliation mm. and move into our homes. Mm. And then, if you see it predominantly, after that, predominantly is around some epicenters. Just is one epicenter. Mm. Um, at those states, that Ekboma Aochi area mm. is an epicenter for those species of rice, mm. like Mastodis Latalensis. Mm. And so there you see predominant farming activity. People dry, want to dry their uh, cassava, dry their gari, mm. spread yes. their ikusi and all that. Mm. So these rats go and feed on them, mm. as they are waste on mm. them and all that when mm. they eat it, they infect it. And of course, even if Rats are uh, the original reservoirs. Mm. Yeah. It's also a human to human infection. Uh, good afternoon, can you hear us? Uh, can you hear us? Yeah, go. We'll talk about that one later. I think we have the clips for that for the FA Cup. Uh, sorry. Now, uh, madam, um, let's talk about we're going to discuss. Are, are we, you're having the game, sir. Is, is there any room for sensitization for? Something like Lassa fever during the games? Or are you going to create any space to, you know? Well, I must confess that we've not thought of that. Mm. But already sensitization is going on mm. on every platform. Mm. The Ministry of Health, I think the farm said, the acting farm said, came out yesterday and gave the situation report of the state. And as I can tell you, right now in Rivers, there is no confirmed case. We have two suspected cases, yes, mm. but there is no confirmed case. Mm. And like the LOC chairman said, Rivers State has always dealt with this uh, viral hemorrhagic fevers and we've been successful with them. Mm. So, um, just before the games, we are already sensitizing people. And you remember, our primary assignment is that we are doctors. Mm. So, on our different platforms, we've been sensitizing people. Mm. And thank God you asked. This is also an opportunity that we have used to sensitize the public. All right, let's we'll come back to the Let's listen to this female teenage sensation, um, Koku, and uh, we'll come back um, to discuss about uh, the anime games. Koku, I think everyone enjoyed your incredible performance tonight. You're 15. It's, it's your debut on this court at the Australian Open. You've taken out the defending champion. Where did that performance come from? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> uh Coming up, they, you see the business skills in them. Mm. Attach them to mentors. They have a good mentor mentee relationship and all that. And then to look at, attach children to, to role models that you make them have role models. They will up to have that interactive session and we get in both places. In addition to that, we should go back to our school sports. <laughs> yes, we yes. We need to revive the school sports because mm. school sports is where we used to pick 
So most of these athletes at a very young tender age. Are we celebrating Govu Koko too early? Well, I don't think we are celebrating when you see a star, no matter how early. Even if, even, even if she gets knocked out at this stage, she, she will still come know. back in the, 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 the grand style. Yeah. And she will be definitely a big fish in tennis mm. the way she played. It's obvious that it's not a fluke. Just Do you think Serena can hit that 24? She barely needs it. Of course, it, it just needs uh, concentration and then determination. Of course, you know, Serena is a fighter. Mm. So I think. One day she would have her way and then maybe, maybe get one or two grand style. Mm. As a woman, is Serena doing too much? No. She, she just put to bed uh, motherhood, a bit of weight. She's losing some of the weight, but the, shouldn't she just call it a bit, okay, let me set, re wrestle, and just um, you know, relax and wait for this small kid to come? No. I think she should go for it. And like he said, she's a fighter. She can make it. Mm. She has her sights on something. Mm. And I think she can make it. Mm. Well, because of age and a little bit of motherhood, maybe she's a bit slower. But I'm sure if she prepares herself well, she's going to make it. Mm. And I'm sure once she hits it and she breaks that, uh, mm. 24 uh, that 24th mm. uh, Grand Slam. Mm. Maybe then she can think of retiring. But mm. if her body is still carrying her, why not? Mm. Why should she? Well, let's take this call. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, please turn on the volume of your TV set. Tell us where you're calling from. Uh, please, I want you to go back to uh, football. This time you're talking uh, tennis for too long. Uh, we need uh, football. Uh, all right, guys, thank you very much. Okay, let's look at the Nigerian Football League. Uh, I mean, our football fans are really on my neck. Uh, let's talk about the Nigerian Football League. We'll come back to Tani because today we're looking at the enemy. I mean, it's a special program today. We want to discuss our doctors and uh, their games. Let's look at the fixtures uh, for this weekend matches in the Nigerian Football League. Um, let's start with those ones. Are we ready? All right, these are the fixtures. Uh, there was one match yesterday, um, Dakar against Jigawa Golden Stars. We'll keep it result later on. But for Sunday, there's Abia Warriors against Wari Wolves. There's Aimba and Rangers. The match has been postponed because both sides are playing in the CAF Confederations Cup. Then you have Katsina against FC Fanyuba, Aqua against Heartland, Sunshine Stars against Kano Pillars, Heartland against, um, sorry, Adamawa against Squire United, MFM, the Church Boys against Plateau United, Rivers United rose wicked sorry, that's an interesting fiction because Rivers United win the match and Plateau United draws or loses, Rivers United goes top on the league, on the league table. Lobby Stars and Nasarawal also watch out for Lobby Stars because Lobby Stars on the same 28 points with Rivers United. If they win also, they, uh, they can also go top. Is it that Rivers United, Lobby Stars or Plateau United, any of them can go top of the league table. Let's move up a little bit. All right, all right, uh, that's it. Okay, now let's uh, take a listen to a Jose Mourinho interview. Uh, sports will play later on today. Uh, let's take a listen to what Jose Mourinho has to say. Notice is here by giving that by the directive of His Excellency, the Governor of River State, Chief Barrister Nyesom Ezen Wanwike, CON, GSSRS, an emergency meeting of the River State Board of Internal Revenue will hold today, Saturday 25th, January 2020, by 5 p.m. at the Government House, Port Harcourt. All concerned are enjoined to attend on time, please. Signed, Dr. Tami Wenike Danagogo, Secretary to the State Government, River State. Southampton have gone from strength to strength since you, you met them. Uh, you know, victories... Uh at Leicester at Chelsea. Uh, are they better now than they were when you played them last time? And what did you learn? One that would be very difficult for others to do. Um, how are we going to deal with people here? Because you're looking at um, probably 30, 36 states, you know, depend on how many people come. No, we are in zones. Okay. We okay. are in zones. So okay. there is no problem with that at all. Even if we have 50 pe persons mm. per zone, we are going to take care of them. Mm. And I want to tell the entire public that you are all very invited. Mm. Come and see your doctors. Those people that, you know, you see in consulting rooms mm. and maybe you are like, wow, they are, oh, come and see them play, mm. have fun, and actually compete for Lawrence in mm. this game. Kotako 2020, you are all invited. Uh, by the way, do we have a mascot? I'll come back to you. A mascot. I was going to say, ask that question. Yeah, we have. Have you unveiled a mascot? We have, we did. 
at uh, okay, Abakaliki. Abakaliki. During one of our annual delegates conference mm. last year. Mm. Our mascot is named Peter. Peter Kwa. Yeah, Peter. Uh, is it is it a is dolphin? It dolphin. Is a dolphin with our logo, the rivers logo, the enemy logo, and then the game logo on a dolphin. Mm. Just to remind our viewers, the enemy game starts. Um, February 20, 17th. 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 Is that is a one week event? Yes. yes. All right, and that is um that's our package on today's program. Thank you very much. Uh, let me start uh, with um Dr. Obelebera Adebi. You have a Yoruba name, you're Rivers. I'm Rivers. I'm Kalabari. I, I was going to say that. I was going to ask that question because when I sent the message, I was actually I was thinking it was a Yoruba person. And of course, um, Dr. Ob um, Dr. Abie Tamino of Football, LOC Channel, thank you very much for being our guest today. And uh, Dr. Samson Ejibu, LOC Sec, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I uh, will keep you posted. My name is Sopriye Godwin Jaja. You can get all, every story about the enemy game to start next month on this show. Bye and God bless. Thank you. Yes.